On September 29, 2019, eligible voters in Austria are heading to the polls to elect the 180 members of the Austrian parliament, the Nationalrat. In turn, the Nationalrat elects the government, whose head is called the Chancellor, or Bundeskanzler in German. The Chancellor represents Austria in the most powerful institution in the EU, the European Council. The ministers of the newly elected governments will represent Austria in the Council of the European Union and act as co-legislators of the European Union, along with the European Parliament. Europe elects is pleased to introduce the main parties, movements, and electoral alliances at play in this election. The parties included here are the ones which were mentioned in the latest polls before this video was produced. Okay, before we start, historic events worth mentioning have led to this snap election. The last election was held in 2017. Uh, the next election was originally scheduled for fall 2021. In May 2019, however, a video was leaked showing Vice Chancellor Heinz Christian Strache promising state investment in return for election campaign funding for his right wing FPO to a Russian oligarch in Ibiza. Chancellor Sebastian Kurz and his center right OVP dismissed the right-wing FPO from the coalition government and called a snap election for fall 2019. On the 27th of May 2019, the center-left SPO, the Green Party Jetzt, and the right-wing FPO ousted Chancellor Kurz and his minority center-right OVP government in a no-confidence vote in the national parliament. It was the first time ever that a chancellor in Austria was removed from office by parliament. Kurz was replaced as head of government by ÖVP politician Hartwig Löger, and on the 3rd of June, President Alexander van der Bellen appointed a nonpartisan technocratic government with Brigitte Bierlein as the new chancellor. The nonpartisan Bierlein was the first woman to become head of government in the country's history. The legal election threshold is 4% of all valid votes to be represented in the parliament. All 180 seats are allocated proportionally. Österreichische Volkspartei, ÖVP Österreichische Volkspartei, the Austrian People's Party, ÖVP for short, is a center-right party which was founded in 1945, five days after the Red Army freed Vienna from Nazi occupation. Since 1945, and with the exceptions of 2019 and the time period in between 1970 and 1987, ÖVP has constantly been part of the national government. It's a liberal conservative party, and it advocates for the reduction in size of the Austrian welfare state, lowering taxes, and reducing government spending and regulation. It supports free trade and the partial privatization of public services such as water, public housing, and health services. Moreover, the party supports the creation of a kind of European FBI, the direct election of the EU president, and a ban of coal energy in the EU by 2034. It opposes a European country-specific minimum wage, a European army, a carbon tax for Austria, and transnational party lists for the European Parliament election. The party is currently led by former Chancellor Sebastian Kurz, who was Prime Minister from 2017 until May 2019. He was the Minister of Foreign Affairs from 2013 until 2017, and he was born in 1986, which means during most of his tenure, he was the youngest head of government in the world. ÖVP is a member of the major center-right European political party, the European People's Party, and sits with that group in the European Parliament. Sozialdemokratische Partei Österreichs, SPÖ Sozialdemokratische Partei Österreichs, or the Social Democratic Party of Austria in English, is a center-left political party. The party, which is abbreviated as SPÖ, was founded in 1889 as Sozialdemokratische Arbeiterpartei Österreichs, it was banned under Austrofascism and Nazism. SPÖ ruled during most of the post-war history of Austria, often in coalition governments with their center-right rival, the ÖVP. SPÖ is in favor of strengthening the welfare state through more taxes on millionaires. The additional tax income would be used to cover all the costs of care for the elderly or more investments into green energy. The party is in favor of European integration and, for example, supports a European carbon tax, investment in the European railway system, and a common European asylum system. The party opposes, however, an EU army or the direct election of the president of the European Commission. The party is socially liberal and supports gender equality and same-sex marriage. 
The current leader of the party is Pamela Rendi Wagner, who was Minister for Health and Women from March until December 2017. Since November 2018, she's been the president of SPE. She's the first female leader of the party. On the European level, SPE is a member of the Party of European Socialists, and its MEPs sit with the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats group in the European Parliament. Freiheitliche Partei Österreich Die Freiheitliche Partei Österreich, or the Freedom Party of Austria, FPÖ, is a right-wing political party, which was founded in 1956 as a split-off from a group which brought together former Nazi party members, German refugees from Central and Eastern Europe, and veterans after the Second World War. The attitudes of FPÖ towards the European Union and its predecessor organizations have drastically changed since the creation of the party. In the 1950s, the FPÖ supported the integration of Austria into the European Economic Community, and in 1989, the party voted in favor of the accession talks with the EU. In the 1990s, however, FPÖ started opposing the integration process and called to vote against the accession of Austria to the EU in the 1994 European Union membership referendum. The party was mainly concerned about cross-border crime. Today, the party supports Austria's membership in the European Union, but opposes further integration in most policy areas such as common labor standards, a common EU army, or a direct election of the European Commission president. FPÖ opposes EU distribution quotas for refugees, a carbon tax, and the free trade agreement of the EU and South American Mercosur. On national affairs, it supports a small government model with lower taxes, privatization of some goods, and a welfare state exclusive for Austrian nationals. Since May 2019, Norbert Hofer has been the leader of the party. Hofer ran in the 2016 presidential election and won 46.2% of the vote in the second round and later became Minister of Transport, Innovation, and Technology from 2017 until 2019. FPÖ is a member of the Transnational Identity and Democracy Party and sits with the ID group in the European Parliament. Neue Österreich und Liberales Forum NEOS Das Neue Österreich und Liberales Forum, the new Austria and Liberal Forum in English, or NEOS for short, is a liberal party, which was founded in 2014 as a merger of the party Liberales Forum and the party NEOS, Das Neue Österreich. The party has been in opposition ever since it first entered the National Parliament in 2013. The party strongly supports European integration in areas such as taxation, labor, immigration, same-sex marriage, and defense. However, the party opposes a common minimum wage in the EU member states. NEOS supports the direct election of the President of the European Commission as well as transnational lists for the European Parliament. Since 2018, Beate Meinl Reisinger has been the leader of the party. Meinl Reisinger was an MP in Austria's national parliament from 2013 until 2015, and then from 2018 until now. NEOS is a member of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe party, and sits with the Renew Europe group in the European Parliament. Jetzt, Liste Pilz Jetzt, Liste Pilz, now, Pilz List in English, is a split off from Die Grünen and was founded in 2017. That same year, the political party managed to enter the national parliament. Jetzt is an environmentalist Green Party. Its founder, MP Peter Pilz, claims that Pilz needs to exist as an individual party competing with Grüne because some parts of the original Greens are corrupt and ignore the threat of so-called political conservative Islam for the Austrian society. The party supports an inheritance tax on bequeathments worth more than 500,000 euros, a 35-hour work week, and arms embargoes against belligerent countries. Since 2018, Maria Stern has been the leader of the party. As a singer and songwriter, Stern was active in the feminist movement before she joined professional politics. Jetzt is not affiliated with any transnational European political party, but it intends to join the Greens EFA group if it gains parliamentary representation in the European Parliament. In 2019, the party supported Initiative One Europa in the European election. The Electoral Alliance failed to get any members in the EU Parliament. Die Grünen Die Grüne Alternative Die Grünen, Die Grüne Alternative, or the Greens, the Green Alternative in English, is an environmentalist and green political party founded in 1986. In the previous election, in 2017, 
the Greens failed to reach the threshold to enter the national parliaments for the first time in its history. The party supports further European integration. For example, it supports empowering the European parliaments with a right of legislative initiative. The party has been led by Werner Kogler since its electoral defeat in 2017. Kogler was a Green MP from 1999 to 2017. In 2010, he held the longest speech in the history of the Nationalrat. Debating the national budget in 2011, he didn't stop for 12 hours and 42 minutes. The Greens, the Green Alternative, is a member of the European Green Party and sits in the Greens European Free Alliance Group in the European Parliament.